Hi guys, this is a basic tutorial on how to buy cryptocurrency on the exchange called Polonix.com. First of all, make sure that you have created your account on Polonix.com. To create the account is very simple. You go to the um, Polonix.com website and you click create your account. Since I've already have an account, I will just be signing in. Alright, so once you've signed in, you will get to see a screen that has the following tabs at the top. Alright, guys, don't be afraid to run through all these tabs. Okay, so you can get to know what is on the exchange and what it offers. Okay. So make sure you run through all these tabs. I generally always first go to my balances and I go to deposits and withdrawals. Alright, so before you can actually purchase um, various coins on Polynix.com, you've got to make sure that you funded your account with Bitcoin. Okay, so the first thing I always suggest is fund your account with Bitcoin. And how do you do that? You go to the balances, deposits and withdrawals, and you find the Bitcoin icon or the Bitcoin name, okay? And you'll see here, you can either deposit or withdraw out. So if I wanted to deposit, I would click the deposit button, and this would give me an address, okay? So now I would copy this address, and I'd go over to my wallet, and I'll be making a transfer of Bitcoin to this exchange. All right, that is how you would get Bitcoin onto this exchange. If you were looking to withdraw Bitcoin, in fact, it doesn't only apply to Bitcoin. So if I wanted to deposit Dash onto the exchange, I would go to the Dash cryptocurrency, and there you go, it would give me a code in which I could send Dash to. Likewise, if I want to withdraw Dash or withdraw any particular cryptocurrency, I would click the withdraw button. It would ask me for the address that I want to withdraw it to and the amount of coins that I want to withdraw. Alright, so that is how you will fund your account and how you can also get your coins off the exchange. Alright, so once you've funded your account and you have Bitcoin on your account, the next thing you can do, you can go to exchange. All right, so once you're on exchange, you'll see uh, whatever coin is already listed here, you'll have a graph of it. Um, I'm looking to, for this example, I would like to buy Stratus. Okay, so I click on Stratus over here and you see it loads the actual populates the fields here for me. So you can see there's been a bit of a downtrend with Stratus. I believe um, after we see this sort of bear market change, Stratus is going to pick up again. So if you if you couldn't find your coin here, and of course you can scroll down here as well, you can always type it in over there, and it brings it up to you, and you click on it, and it populates the field. Okay? So once you guys have done that, you will see what it does automatically for you. It automatically populates the price with the latest price, okay, that has uh, the latest order that has occurred. Now, guys, you, there's two ways to do this. You can, you can put a buy order in, okay, and you'll see these are buy orders. So you place a buy order which is under market value, and when you do that, um, let's just do an example for you. So let's say I want to place a buy order at this particular price. I click there, and you'll see it puts it there for me. And let's say I want to buy um, two Stratus, and I click buy. Okay. Now that particular order will not be fulfilled as yet. Okay. If I had to go back to my balances um, and my open orders, You will see there it sits. Okay, so it won't be fulfilled until that particular price 
is achieved. Okay, if you want to cancel this order, you just click cancel. And the Bitcoin that it reserved for the order will be cancelled. And um, once it's cancelled, we can go back. There you go. Go back to exchange. And now we see, okay. So if you see the market is going down, okay, and you're wanting to, you don't want to place it at the current market price, all right, you can place the, the, the buy order at any particular price you want to pay doesn't mean it will be fulfilled. You might have to wait a day, the market might change, and you might never get that price. All right? So if you're in a hurry to buy a particular, um, a particular uh, coin, then don't play around with buy orders. All right? Then you can go straight to the actual um, um, price that, where you have an exact amount that you're going to pay and a certain supply. All right? So if I was looking to buy one Bitcoin's worth of Stratus, I would be placing the order right here. And then I know I will get a whole lot of Stratus and then I will, it will be fulfilled at all the prices, this price and all the prices before it. Okay, But because I only want to buy half, a, well, let's just call it two Stratuses, I can place an order right there. Okay, you see it will automatically type in 18. I don't want to make I don't want to buy 18, I only want to buy two, and I click buy. Bought. Okay, there we go. And it's bought. And it if I go back to my balances now, you will see that I will have an additional two stratus. There we go. Two stratus. In my balance okay within my wallets all right guys that concludes the very brief um, summary of how to buy cryptocurrency with Bitcoin on Polynex